Hey guys, my name is Griffin. We're at Timber Train Coffee Depot, and I'm going to show you how to brew Hamsho Cabena on AeroPress. So, the Ethiopia Cabena is a really nice coffee. It's produced by Helena Georgialis, and she's a producer that focuses a ton on the drying process. So this is a washed coffee. It's going to be super floral, super juicy, with a really clean taste, and that's why it shines so well on AeroPress. So, for our brew today, we're going to need a few things. Of course, the AeroPress. I'm using paper filters as well. We're going to need a scale. Any kitchen scale will do, but this just helps keep it really consistent. Next, we'll need a kettle, and we have ours set at 96 degrees Celsius, but you can use water just off the boil. We also have a timer. You can just use your phone. Mine's built into the scale. And something to press into. We also have a spoon to stir with. And of course, our coffee. So today we're going to be using 18 grams of coffee to 240 grams of water. I make sure to say that you need filtered water for this. Water plays such a huge role in the coffee process. Using good quality water is always important. So to get started, I'm going to first pre-wet our filter. This will help get rid of any paper taste that we might get. Don't need too much there. Next, we'll turn on our scale. Dose out our coffee, again, 18 grams. Perfect. So our terra scale again, I forgot to mention, we're using the inverted method here. So I like to have the plunger just underneath the four mark because we're gonna be filling this thing all the way up. I'm gonna dump out our water for the pre-wet and fill up my kettle. So, get our timer ready, hit start, and our first pour is gonna be 40 grams. Perfect, and we're gonna take the spoon and stir five times. Awesome, put that back in there, and we're just gonna wait until about 20 seconds, and then we'll continue pouring. So at 20 seconds, we're gonna fill the brewer all the way up to 240 grams, and we're just gonna pour Nice and easy. The pour is going to take about 20 seconds. So 240, we're filling that thing right to the top. I'm going to give it three last stirs. Perfect. I'm going to transfer it off the scale and throw on our lid. So now we just wait until about one minute and 15 seconds, and then we're going to flip it over and start pressing. So the press should take about 45 seconds. So getting ready here, flipping it over and press. So if you ground too coarse and this coffee gets under extracted, it's gonna be fairly watery and floral with an unpleasant vinegar aftertaste. If you ground too fine and this coffee gets a little over extracted, it's gonna be quite bitter like lime skin and not very complex. But if you grind perfectly, this coffee is allowed to showcase its full flavors. You're gonna get flavor notes of tropical fruit like pineapple and peach with a sweetness from grapefruit and a finish like lime soda. So we finished right around 45 seconds of pressing. Two minute brew time. Give her a couple swirls. Enjoy.